Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I'm going to be talking to you about the new Hourglass Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm. This is something that has just recently launched and I'm very, very excited because I picked up four colours and I wanted to show you all four colours that I picked up. There are a number of colours available on the site. An innovative three-in-one hybrid that hydrates like a lip balm, plumps for fuller looking lips and delivers the high shine finish of a lip gloss. The breakthrough formula is infused with our conditioning complex for lips that instantly look softer and smoother while feeling nourished and replenished all day. It glides smoothly onto lips for full body colour and comfortable wearing without feeling sticky or tacky. Available in a curated collection of eight shades and packaged in a sleek twist up pen for effortless application and precision. So in each of these products you get 0.05 ounces or 1.7 grams of product. It's meant to be hydrating, smoothing, softening, delivers full bodied high shine colour that melts instantly onto lips, visibly plumps lips, provides a refreshing cooling sensation, vegan and cruelty free. And based on the proven results, they said that on a consumer test of 31 participants, 100% said their lips felt instantly hydrated. 96% said their lips looked plump all day, 96% said their lips looked smoother all day, and 93% said the product instantly melted onto lips. So I am going to be putting this on for you, and I'm gonna show you each color. You twist the base slightly to dispense desired amount. Pen does not retract. If you twist it, that's where it's gonna stay. So make sure that you twist it to how high you want it. For more intense color, apply a second layer. So it's formulated without gluten, phthalates, parabens, sulfates, talc, synthetic fragrance, not tested on animals, and they're proud to be a cruelty-free brand. I've seen all the pictures, I've seen all the colors, and I've picked out my four favorites. So the first color that I picked up is called Trace, and I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. So it's in this really lovely container. This is how it looks. I currently have the Hourglass eyeshadow on that I did a review on. I also have the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. So I just wanted to show you that as well as the Hourglass Universe palette, which was the palette that I also did a review on. So I'll list all of these below as well so you can see the reviews of these products that I've used. So this is how it looks. It reminds me of a little bit of do you know Tucci Clet? I think everyone knows Tucci Clet by Yves Saint Laurent. It has that kind of look to it, but obviously it's not a you know an eye product. This is for the lips. So let's take a look. So as you can see, this is how it looks, and then you can see the product at the tip. So what we're going to do is we're going to dispense the product together. So you can hear that twisting mechanism. I'm twisting, twisting, twisting. And I'm getting out as much product that I need. So this is the colour Trace. I'll put the description at the bottom as to how each colour is described. I'm really excited to give this a go. So this is Trace. So this is the colour Trace, and as you can see, it's this lovely sort of natural beige colour. I do love the colour story when it comes to Hourglass. I think that they pick beautiful colour stories. It feels quite cooling. I'm feeling a cooling sensation happening, and it's becoming a little bit more tingly. It's a bit sort of, it feels like there's some kind of cooling sensation in here. I'm not sure I'm gonna like this yet, hold on. Wasn't what I was expecting. I wasn't thinking it was gonna have this sort of cooling feeling. I'm not usually a big fan <laughs> of the cooling feeling, but I don't think it's gonna get any more extreme than this, so I think I'll be able to cope. It is a really lovely colour, and if you want this sort of nude, natural colour, I think this is gonna be the one to go for. So this one is the colour Trace.
So this is the first colour and it's called Trace and I just wanted to just give you my initial thoughts. Now I'm not a massive fan of when I get a tingling sensation on my lips and I wasn't aware that this was going to do this. However, I don't think it's a game changer but I wish that they hadn't put it in there because I feel as though Hourglass are kind of missing that kind of gloss that you could just use from this sort of dispenser. It reminds me a little bit of, um, I think when Victoria Beckham did her own line with Estee Lauder and she had a similar lip gloss that was similar to this. I think hers was like an actual brush and then it pumped out, whereas this is like an actual dispenser applicator. So it is a little bit different. It definitely feels moisturizing. My lips do feel moisturized. I think it's something that is gonna be great for summer when you are in a hot country. If you get some heat, and you want to cool your lips down a bit. It's one of those things where I didn't really like the Fenty selection that had the sort of tingly feeling on them. I didn't buy those. I wasn't expecting these to do that, but it has that, so I can live with it because it hasn't gotten worse, so thank God for that. It's just tingly a bit and then it just sort of cools down. If you're not used to that feeling you might not like it when you initially put it on but eventually it, it does subside a bit and you don't feel it as much and it's just it makes your lips feel really cool. That's Trace and I do think it's the perfect nude. It's really really pretty. How does it compare to Victoria Beckham? I think I prefer the Victoria Beckham. The Victoria Beckham one doesn't have this tingling feeling but also I think the finish at the moment, my gut is saying the Victoria Beckham one, but let's see how we got on with the other colours. So that is Trace. And also what I wanted to say was, it does feel very, very moisturising. So definitely my lips feel hydrated. So this is two layers of Trace. And you can see that the intensity is a lot more stronger and you can build. So the next colour is called Slip. So let's see how Slip looks and I will put the description below. So this is the colour Slip. So this is the colour Slip. So this is the colour Slip and it's a little bit more on the pinky side. It is very pretty, very hourglass. The tingling has calmed down a bit. Maybe it's because I've taken the other one off and then I put this one on and I don't know if my lips are just getting used to it. So it doesn't feel as strong. This is a sort of everyday colour, just like the previous one which I did that you can use, very, very pretty. So again, that is much more intense. So this is two layers of slip. So the next colour is Thrill. So we've had like a beige, a kind of pinky colour, and now we're moving into kind of like a reddish colour. And let's see how this looks. This is Thrill. So this is thrill and it's a really lovely red again in line with all the sort of hourglass lips they are such unique but sort of classy classic colors that you can wear all day every day doesn't look too in your face it is just like an everyday good color so i do like this one too this is thrill
So the intensity is definitely better when you go in twice. So the final colour is the colour Haze. This is Haze. So this is one layer of Haze. So I'm just going to go in now with the second layer of Haze. So you can immediately see the payoff with the colour Haze and the colour is beautiful. So this is the second layer. Just some quick arm swatches of all the colours. Now they may not come out as well because they are quite glossy, but we'll see how they look. So the first one is Trace. So that is Trace. The second colour is Slip. So that is Slip. The third colour is Thrill. So that is Thrill. And the last colour is Haze. So that colour is Haze. So those are the four colours that I picked up. So that is the four colours that I picked up and I just wanted to give you kind of like my my thoughts on what I thought of how these performed. I love the consistency. I thought the consistency was beautiful. It was kind of odd that they've said in there that if you want the colour payoff to be more, to go and put on another layer, because I think that uses more product. And these aren't cheap. These, I think I'll put the retail price below, but I did manage to get a bit of a discount on these. But I don't know if I would have paid full price because, not because they're not great products, but because I felt as though I've had to use more product in order to get more intensity. Now, if it's for the use of just every day and you don't want the intensity to show through, then I think one layer will be sufficient and enough and give you that hydration that you need. So bear that in mind when you're picking colours and how many you pick. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up any more. I'm still getting used to this cooling effect on my lips, to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of that sort of tingling or it's it's not tingling but it feels cool <laughs> it feels like I've got a block of ice on my lips and if you're not used to that feeling you might not like this formula I'd say this is a bit of a hit and miss it's a hit in the sense that the color story is beautiful the consistency the fact that it's hydrating is fantastic but I'm not sure about this sort of feeling that I have on my lips I'm sure I'm going to get used to it over time and I love hourglass products so much that I'm going to power through and stick with these lipsticks. Not, it's definitely something that I'll take away with me when I go on holiday or when I want something cooling on my lips. If it's a hot day, I might bring these out. I don't know if I would wear them every day purely because of that sensation and that feeling. It's really hard to describe. I think it's something that you have to try when you're in store and you'll see what I mean. That is my verdict. Colour story is beautiful. It is a bit messy. What I mean is, is as you use it, it does kind of drip around the outside a little bit. So be aware that you might just have to wipe it before you close it. And also be aware that once you start twisting, you can't bring it back down again. So you have to know how much product you're going to use. So that is my verdict on the new Hourglass Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balms. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you going to be picking these up? If so, which colour? I hope this has helped you to pick a colour that you like. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.